Okay, boys and girls, here we are. We're going to do um, um, under the frunk, see what's going on there. Uh, anyway, the release is right here. Um, in the name of uh, honesty, I will tell you that I've already gone in here and pulled this thing twice. You have to move it twice in order to get the secondary latch released. So, um, um, and that didn't take me a long time to figure out. So you'll see I've got my little tools down here because I know I'm going to be taking stuff off. So let's have a look. Ah, look at that, boys and girls. See? You don't need a prop rod if you have one of these things. So <clears throat> these are kind of like the tools you use for taking things apart. My guys have already pre-positioned them for me. So let's, uh, let's see what we got. This is really aggressive. <clears throat> well, I will tell you one thing. This has got Tesla beat for, uh, for holding ability here. <clears throat> oh, man, a lot of that's aggressive. My own head. Okay, so uh, first off, one of these things stuck. Uh, and that's where it went. Anyhow, that's. Uh, this is a very aggressive, uh, very, very aggressive snap, which works for me. Um, okay, so I just noticed something else here. You can see this one is uh, broke. Um, so we luckily have all this stuff here. We can, uh, we can fix that. But that's a very aggressive snap. By the way, these are supposed to last uh, up to 10 or 12 times. Uh, before oh, this one's broke too. These are not supposed to break. So, uh, so anyway, um, at the end of the day, we have all these things so we can replace them, but, um, but this is really an aggressive snap fit. Anyhow, let's go here. So let's have a look at what we've got here. I'm gonna start at the top and work down. Now, uh, we have um, some background noise here, and that's the uh, compressor pump still, uh, still thinking about it. Some of the guys have already done some driving. I have not, but there you are. And, uh, oh, here's something I may not like a lot. These are, um, normally people would call them rubber, but, uh, but in essence, these are EPDM, rubber hoses. These kind of pipes, they are way less expensive than what you'd find with nylon pipes, as in the uh, Tesla Model 3. And these are called grenade clips. Um, because you pull a pin in it, so it clamps them up. And uh, initially I was going to say, well, it's kind of cheap, but you got to remember there's no underhood temperatures here, so I don't have a problem with that. Oh, they got chicken bands over here. So they also have um, wire ties, sometimes called chicken bands around here, to hold things in place. I don't have a problem with that either. Again, there's no heat under here, so it doesn't really matter much. Okay, so now we have a stiffening brace, and uh, I usually look at these as an afterthought. Somebody didn't um, didn't plan on something, so you put these things in. This is to get rid of uh, vibration. So they've placed one in here, just like the guys on the ID4 did, um, and uh, and we can see here that. <clears throat> Um, I'll have to take off some more of this stuff before I get to it. Um, I, uh, I do like this a lot. I like it when people can get to the uh, washer bottle in a hurry. I guess I'd like to go to this first. Um, I don't know why we'd do something like this. The, um, I, for putting groceries in, it just seems like the... Uh, Hey, let me get my flashlight. I'll be right back. 
What the hell? <sighs> That's a drain hole. That's a drain hole. Okay, um, and what would this be? You see, this is what I like about intuitive design. This car, this car is made for me. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> I need somebody to go off and get me some ice. Okay, boys and girls, this makes Uncle Sandy real happy. I got, I got a bag of ice, and so Jackie, the cleaning person, doesn't get me all upset. We're gonna try and put this thing together. That looks good enough for me. <clears throat> oh, I cannot believe it. This, this, this is what sports car guys like. A surprise that makes a difference. Okay, just get a close-up of this. I should have smashed this a little more. Come on. I didn't put this in up. Okay, you get the idea. This this is a giant <coughs> beer tub. So, <laughs> some of us like to drink. And uh, you can put your beers in here, right? And then, look at this. That's intuitive design. This is the way you design a product. So it took me a couple of seconds. I didn't have to read the manual. I like this idea. But I don't like trying to breathe in get excited at the same time. This is absolutely brilliant. A great idea, a great idea on Ford's part. I love this. I absolutely love it. <clears throat> but maybe later, I made an awful mess here. Anyways, uh, so, so we were, uh, <laughs> can you believe what a great idea? I mean, this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. But think about the ID4. They wasted all that space by putting in other junk. This is a good idea. This is, this is uh, you know what? This car is starting to shape up as being perhaps um, a Tesla competitor. I am, I'm shocked. I'm really um, shocked in a good way because I wanna see EVs coming up as much as I can. I know that there's something in here I wanna see. <clears throat> This is a little less aggressive. Holy moly, I take that back. Okay, so this is how you, I don't want to break something. This is in my car, maybe yet. I may, I may tear this one to pieces. Anyhow, let's just go over here, Tyler. This is how you get to um, jumping the 12-volt uh, the battery. Some people may not know this, but uh, if this battery goes dead, <laughs> you're out of luck. You have no chance of getting your car going. So you have to make it accessible. So if you have to have a little bit of a charge on this little dinky 12 volt, um, you can access it. Okay, so anyway, there's quite a bit of reason for having the ability to get into this 12 volt battery. Um, if, you, uh, if this thing goes dead, um, 12 volts basically runs all of the stuff that you see on the instrument panel including, I hope these guys don't have it, but including the park pawl. If you have a park pawl and this battery goes dead, you're pretty much out of luck. You have, to, uh, you have to have somebody come and give this thing a little jolt so that you can get it out of the, out of the park position and move into, uh, just to get it so that you can roll it on top of, the, uh, um, on top of your um, uh, tow truck or what have you. Okay, so, um, so it's accessible, but not easy. Um, I, think, I, I think that uh, I like everything about this. One of the other things that I, I do like is, um, I like the way they've sealed in here um, from the, root, from the uh, hood down to the, um, down to the um, tub here. Um, by doing it that way, um, you eliminate something. So the other guys have found this, and I asked why this was here, and he said, well, we, we just wanted to show you what Tesla had. So Tesla had um, a piece of, um, uh, this is called dual shot molding or du dual durometer molding. 
And so what you do is you shoot the hard plastic first, or the harder plastic, and then you shoot another plastic over the top. Now these, these kinds of uh, uh, parts are a lot more expensive. And, um, and so consequently, um, this um, isn't as desirable as that. So that's got one hard shot, and then it's got a rubber ring. This one is a dual shot, and then oh, it's got another seal. And that seal actually fits in the tub. So it goes around its groove right here. See the uh, little edge? Um, it fits right into this steel uh, component right here, steel and rubber component, and that's what holds it in place. Now, a tip for Tesla, cut a drain hole in this puppy <laughs> because that is a good idea that should be in here. And because you've got two tubs, Mm, some guys like to drink from the back of the car and some guys like to drink from the front of the car. All right, so let's, uh, let's go and have a look at, um, at um, the bump stops. So we were, we were just looking at these, or I was just looking at these while I was waiting for the ice. And um, I don't understand it. There's four here as well. Um, Tesla only has two, and I don't understand why I need four. Uh, maybe there's something here that uh, that's eluding me, but uh, but for the night, for right now, mm, I've designed cars and I've never designed it with four stops. I am uh, I was really disappointed with what I thought was going to be the real winner, which was going to be the VW, and um, quite frankly, uh, I guess uh, I guess I guess I should have been I should have. <laughs> Should have been rooting for the home team a little more than I than I was. Anyway, everything I've seen so far, I like. Oh my God, I just love this. I love this uh, this this frunk. Uh, I'm really impressed. So, if nothing else, Ford did a good idea with that. So, I don't know if that's going to make it a Tesla beater, but it certainly caught my attention. Anyway, that's it for uh, that's it for the front of the car. We're going to do some more stuff coming up. We'll put it on the hoist and have a look. See what's going on underneath. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Please keep tipping those cashiers. They, uh, they need all of the uh, help they can get. And, um, and we'll be seeing, seeing you soon on, uh, on Monroe Live. Thanks so much. Bye.